So I got into instructing basically to help younger people get into the trade and I firmly believe that we should be training our young people in order to, to get uh, them a good start into, into their trade. Over the years before I became an instructor I found that a lot of younger people that wanted to get into the trade um, they had a difficult time getting in uh, simply because companies uh, didn't have time for their more experienced welders to assist them in, in learning how to weld. And a lot of times it's actually difficult too for companies to hire somebody that's never welded before and to actually give them time to practice. It's a time factor thing as well as taking an experienced welder away to assist somebody. The welding program uh, here we do all different types of welding uh, from shield to metal arc welding and a lot of people know that as is stick welding. Uh, we also do gas metal arc welding, which uh, the old terminology is MIG welding. Uh, nowadays we refer to it as gas metal arc welding. Plus we also do, uh, uh, when it comes into gas metal arc welding, we do uh, what's called dual shield. So it's a flux core and a gas uh, wire that we're doing. Uh, we do multi-processes like TIG welding on top of stainless steel and aluminum uh, material. So the students here get a really broad uh, grasp of what the welding trade is about. We have uh, various types of equipment here. I don't specifically just deal with one uh, company on equipment. We fluctuate. Uh, we have uh, going from Lincoln welding machines to the newest technology that they have and into Miller and uh, another company called Dynasty. So we have a broad uh, range of equipment here. We also have uh, equipment like shears, rollers and saws that students have to learn to oper operate on. The best part of my job is actually seeing, especially people that have never welded before, to see them excel in the actual welds and, and to see how that affects them. You know, they, they feel proud of themselves and some of them are actually surprised that they can uh, start off or do an overhead weld or a vertical weld. And It's just a pride in workmanship uh, that I really see people, it, it comes out of people when they learn how to do things correctly.